turns out Disney Plus now officially has a racist warning label. Um, so okay. yeah, so apparently what? when you watch Disney Plus, um, <laughs> I don't I don't know how it comes up, but like things like Dumbo and you know old movies where they're old racist oh, stereotypes, there is now some kind of label that okay says so it's alongside any of the other warnings around like violence and things like that it's a good question i don't even know i don't even i I pictured it was something that comes up like you start the movie and it's like warning we uh apologize for (laughs) our old world views or whatever Um, that is interesting huh yeah i I don't know how it comes up at all i have a feeling what you're saying is more correct though it's probably like uh you know a little warning label on the actual like where they show like you know Dolby Atmos TV fourteen yeah. and stuff like that, and then like yeah. violence, yeah, okay. yeah, right. So um, yeah, I mean that makes that makes a lot of like it seems kind of uh, just hearing that almost like oh like you know why did it take this long because you know I I've seen I don't know if there's any standards to those warnings, but yeah. sometimes they're super specific. There's like a warning about smoking cigarettes sometimes, right? Like, yeah, are, yeah, like, right. Because that I, I mean, don't know if I, say, yeah, yeah, and so. Again, it, they have all these warnings about everything. It's, it is kind of crazy that it took this long if, uh, you know, a movie had obvious racist content or theme, themes yeah. in it, right? But, well, I mean, uh, I'm sure, I mean, yeah, I'm I sure you heard that they, they got a bunch of flack when Disney Plus was launched in the first place, right? As soon as Disney Plus kind of launched, right. everyone was talking about all these old movies. And, and I mean, yeah. I, I haven't watched these old movies in a while, so I don't know how bad it is. Like, I... I mean, I obviously know the Dumbo one, but to be honest, I haven't seen it since I came became aware of that. You know that that uh, you know there's there's these race, racist stereotypes around that. Mm, um, yep. But I guess even things like you know there was complaints about Star Wars, even like Episode One. I don't know if you remember, there were like these two characters. They're kind of like aliens in Episode One, and they were kind of a little bit like goofy and competent, like people of the New mm. Republic or something like that. And they were Asian, so I think people were really complaining right, about right. that. I mean, Jar Jar obviously was a big. I was, was gonna. Big, <laughs> I was gonna say, and and you know, uh, not not that George Lucas is probably not the most uh, you know aware uh, because I mean a lot of the, a lot of his characters are, are essentially stereotypes, right? Like yeah, yeah. a lot of his original characters kind of play off stereotypes, but yeah, even those those the first three movies, um, I f- I feel like the you know like the I forget what the character's name is but you know like the the trade chancellor like the uh on the on it, on the ship like uh, the um you know you know episode one right where where uh obi-wan and qui-gon they they go on the yep. ship or they sneak on the ship or something yeah um yeah. but anyways there, there's like the tra- the alien trade counselor person okay. and has and like has an accent and i'm like this, this seems like a kind of borderline you know like trying to take off like asian stereotypes kind of character yeah, and yeah, yeah. judge binks was, was there so yeah, yeah. Not, not surprised by that. Yeah, you know, it's it it is interesting, and, and and I mean, we were talking about this on the weekend, right? Uh, when we we're all all kind of hanging out about like Bill and Ted, you know, there was definitely yeah. you watch yeah. it, and, and and you do get surprised by it a little bit. You're like, because I mean, I mean, when you grow up watching these things, I mean, like, I mean, let's say Back to the Future, for example, right? Like, whenever you watch Back to the Future, I I don't think there's anything too bad in that or any kind of dated. I mean, maybe that's why it's timeless a little bit, right? I mean, obviously the stories and the, mm. the characters and, yep. you know, they talk about the themes are all timeless or whatever. But there's not, but but also maybe because we rewatch those so often that we're not super surprised. Like we've almost, like if there is mm. anything that would be offensive by today's standards, it's like, like at this point we're like, oh yeah, we know, we got it. And, and we kind of know that part's coming up or whatever. Whereas like right. Bill and Ted, I haven't watched probably since like early 90s. Yeah, and so when I saw it, I was like, oh, "Okay, that's uh, that's pretty <laughs> so, yeah. interesting." Yeah, <laughs> which is um, not even that long ago, right? So I can I can imagine, yeah, with Disney because they have such a large back catalog, right? Yeah, Some of these right. things were made like '30s, '40s, probably, right? Like going going back. Yeah, I can't. Up. Maybe not that far back, but maybe like like or maybe it is that far back. I can't remember. S- Snow White yeah. apparently was the first like animated feature film they made. Okay. Um, I don't know when that came out, but yeah, so. Yeah. So I mean, uh, yeah that that is uh, that's interesting. 